Hi YouTubers, welcome to one of my videos. This is a ham radio video and I'm going to talk about this HF QRP SDR transceiver I purchased. Now I was going on a trip camping to do some portable HF communications or contacts and I bought this radio for the specific outing I was doing. The reason why I bought it, it's compact, battery powered, it's QRP, covers the band I wanted, very compact and there were some good reviews on it so I purchased it. Now when it arrived the first thing I noticed is it's diff it was different from the advert. These switches were in a different position to this one. Anyway, I've been using it and I've found it's got absolutely loads of faults. And I'll start with the first one, and the first one is the backlight. You're supposed to be able to turn it off to conserve power. That doesn't work. I'll just turn it off in a minute. Second, the speaker microphone, you can hardly hear any audio through the speaker in the microphone. And the microphone is very, very low gain on the handheld one that come with it. The internal microphone is perfect. Uh, next thing, let's talk about the transmit power. The transmit power is supposed to be on batteries about 3 watts. This is coming out at 8.5 watts, which is okay, I can cope with it being more than what I need. And uh, it doesn't seem to be able to turn it down in any way or form. And it's supposed to be only giving that power at full voltage. And when I mean full voltage, I mean when it's on external supply. The attenuators, all they do is turn the audio down and distort the quality of the audio. The AGC, when it's completely off, the radio is less noisy than when it's switched on in fast or slow position. When you transmit, um, you get horrible noises out the speaker. On CW mode, which you would expect, let's go on to that. Pretty horrible. I don't know what power's it giving at the moment. Oh, it's actually giving 5 watts at the moment, so that's a change. And I don't know if you can hear the audio. That's with the volume at 7. Can you hear the quality of it? There's no aerial connected. go to 10 it's more like a normal audio should be it's sort of rumbling away can you hear it go to sideband hear that grumbling right so the attenuators seem to just turn the audio down they don't turn the signal down uh, the ADC does all sorts of funny effects and the biggest issue I have is believe it or not it's too loud when you turn it above 9 you get good quality audio coming through the speaker on upper sideband or whatever you're listening to but when you turn it below say 6 or 7 so it's a room listening quality it's distorted. The audio quality is absolutely dreadful. It's like the speaker's damaged, which it isn't. It grinds and it's just horrible. Even if you alter the bandwidth, it's just a horrible, horrible bit of kit. 
So I complained to the supplier through eBay and I said, look, I urgently need one. And I said, I can't wait to return this and then get another one. They said, not to worry, we'll send you one, a replacement one in the post. Which they did. They sent a replacement unit. I tracked it with the tracking numbers through uh, the system and it was delivered to Royal Mail. It delivered by Royal Mail. But it wasn't delivered to, to my house. It was delivered to some strange address in, I don't know what part of the country is, but it, it was delivered and accepted, but not to my address. It was a completely different county, a different town, and the postcode didn't match. So I contacted them again. And they said, oh, I'm sorry about that, it's an office error. So they're sending another one out. Now, they sent me a tracking number for that one. And that's going to be delivered to an address in Derby, Ripon. Well, I don't live in Derby. I live in Corby. So I've asked for my money back. And I think it's delay tactics so that it goes past June or into June where you can't return things. But I'm not 100% sure. It's a dreadful receiver. I'll put up where I purchased it from. I'll put up what it's called. And my advice is don't buy one of these especially if the buttons are in this position it's horrible it's the worst radio i've ever purchased and owned um, i'm in a situation where um, i've arranged for it to go back but i'm a little bit cautious of returning this the simple reason is i can't trust the supplier you know i'd rather have a radio and have a go at fixing it than actually send it back and lose me money and the radio. So that's the situation I'm in. The event I was going to do was cancelled because I simply couldn't do it because I didn't have a radio in time. Very, very annoyed and disappointed. So if you're going to, if you see one like this, try and get one that's from the UK if you can, and uh, just don't buy one. I think they're horrible. This one is tremendously horrible. So thanks for watching and if anybody knows what the fault is on this I've got a feeling it's going to be like a power supply fault because the audio is too loud and you can't really turn it down and when it's down it's not even muting the speaker it's this horrible noise. And that's where the dummy load. Horrible. Oh.